Hey, welcome to the Rehab Mobile channel. It's Dr. Toby, physical therapist. And in this video, I wanna tell you how you can get rid of sciatica. Now, for those who may not know what sciatica is, you might associate that or know it as that pain that runs down your leg on the backside. And I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that are gonna help you right now to get some immediate relief. By the way, if you are new to our channel, you should hit that subscribe button because we make videos on how to help you stay healthy, pain-free, fit, and mobile. So if you're somebody who wants those things, you should subscribe to our channel and stay connected to all the content that we're releasing and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date when we're releasing new videos. Check out some of our playlists and our testimonials about people who've been uh, set free from different types of pain and injuries that have really held them back for a long time. All right, let's get right into today's video. So we're gonna be talking about sciatica. Now, let me break it down really quickly before I show you some of these things that are gonna be helpful for you to do. So sciatica is a pain that really comes from the sciatic nerve and it's affected by tightness of muscles in your posterior hip area. So we're talking about in your glute area, your hamstrings, and most of all, the muscle that is problematic for a lot of people is the piriformis muscle. Not to get too uh, nitty gritty into details for you, but that muscle is a muscle that's right where your glute is. And so one of the biggest things that's gonna be helpful is doing some stretching and doing some range of motion exercises, which I'm gonna show you today. But one of the biggest things that we need to mention or touch on for the purposes of this video is that not every single pain or sensation going down your leg is coming from that sciatic nerve, right? And this is really important. Uh, being able to distinguish whether it's actually coming from the sciatic nerve versus if it's coming from your back or higher up in your spinal cord is really, really important because you can have pain going down your leg for various reasons. And the two predominant reasons is one gonna be the sciatic nerve or it's gonna be coming from your spinal cord, your vertebrae. You might be somebody who has um, a slip disc or other types of conditions in your upper back that's causing uh, pain to go down your leg. So for this purposes, for the purpose of this video, you wanna be sure that you actually have sciatic sciatica or a sciatic nerve issue for that purpose. And so um, what I'm gonna show you right now is gonna be helpful for that. If you're not really sure of why you have that pain going down your leg, the best thing to do is to talk to a PT first, specialize in being able to help people differentiate what kind of diagnosis they have and telling you what exactly is going on. So you can hit the link in the description to uh, schedule a time to talk to one of our therapists and I would be happy to help you and get an understanding of what exactly is going on. But again, if you know you have sciatica, this is gonna be helpful. So number one, stretching is gonna be key. And one of the stretches that you wanna do is a piriformis stretch, and I'm gonna show you. So it's a really simple stretch. Now this may be difficult if you already have severe radiating pain going down your leg. Some of the things that people experience with sciatica is numbness, tingling, sharp pain, and discomfort. So if this is too difficult for you to do, uh, there are gonna be a couple ways that you can modify uh, what I'm gonna show you. So the first thing you gotta do is cross your leg to do this exercise. It's really simple. Now this just right here may be extremely painful and just uncomfortable for some people uh, who are watching this video because of how much uh, uh, of a stretch it's already putting on that sciatic nerve. In fact, you may not be able to even lift your leg this much. And if that's the case, you definitely one, wanna to talk to a, a PT first, but also some of the exercises I'm gonna show you later on may be helpful. So if you're able to do this, there are two ways to stretch this piriformis muscle. The sciatic nerve passes through that piriformis muscle and gets compressed. And when it gets compressed, it causes some un unwanted symptoms, we'll say, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands on your knee and you're gonna pull your knee to your opposite side of your shoulder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm pulling my knee to the opposite shoulder. So my right knee, assuming that I have the pain going down my right leg, I'm pulling that right knee to the opposite shoulder and I can feel a really good stretch there. It feels pretty tight, um, but it's not tight to the point that it causes me pain or radiating symptoms, okay? So holding this for several seconds, the thing about stretching is that what we often sometimes don't do correctly is we don't stretch for long enough. And so you wanna hold for at least 20 to 30 seconds if you can tolerate it, ideally, because the longer you hold, the more you're gonna give the opportunity for those muscle fibers to stretch out, okay? So doing that several times throughout the day can be helpful. But again, if you have intense or severe pain with it, then you should back off and again, talk to a PT first. But also, if you can't even get your leg up there, then this is probably an exercise you won't be able to do. So let me show you the next exercise. We wanna stretch out those hamstrings because those hamstrings run all the way from our hip down to our knee. 
A lot of people feel that really, really gnarly kind of pain right up in this area, that sensation, numbness, tingling, feels really uncomfortable. And so this exercise is more of a low hanging fruit kind of exercise. You can do it in your chair, especially if you're someone who has desk work. A lot of people who are truck drivers or people who sit for a long period of time start to develop that sciatic kind of pain and symptoms because of the tightness of their muscles because they're sitting in the same position for a long time. And so we want to stretch that out. So what you're going to do, you're going to be sitting in a chair. You want to sit at the edge of whatever chair or surface you're sitting on. Okay, don't fall off. You're gonna sit at the edge and you're gonna kick your leg straight out, all right? You kick that leg out and you wanna sit up nice and tall, okay? You're going to point your ankle back toward you. So I'm pointing it toward me and I'm gonna feel that tightness or that tension back there. Gonna keep my knee nice and straight. Don't let your knee bend at all, okay? Keep it nice and straight. Sit up nice and tall keeping your back straight and you're gonna lean forward. Now this is gonna be super intense depending on how tight your leg uh, muscles are and depending on how far you lean forward. As you can see, my back is straight, I'm not hunching over like that. That makes it even more intense and it's not really good posture. So nice and tall, back straight. You're gonna feel a stretch all the way from the calf right through those hamstrings and you can control and modulate how far you lean forward which will determine how intense the stretch is so if this is too much for you coming back a little bit can be better and more tolerable and again because this is a stretch we want to hold it for 20 to 30 seconds and again self-monitor on how you feel in terms of if it's too long for you uh, build yourself up to 30 seconds things like that and you want to do multiple repetitions and do it multiple times throughout the day and that's going to be ideal to help you out in that regards okay last thing i'm going to show you is an exercise that you can perform in a chair but it's probably best performed when you're actually um, on your back and i'll show you both ways so it's a single knee to chest exercise it's really simple what you're going to do is put your hands right under your thigh and you're gonna bring your knee to your chest. Now this is probably not a very good stretch in this position, nor is it probably gonna be very effective in targeting the muscles that you want to really address. So doing this on our back is gonna be ideal. All right, so I'm gonna lie on my back here and be right here. And what I'm gonna simply do, again, we're assuming that my right side has the sciatic type of pain and symptoms bring my knee to my chest my leg is completely relaxed and all i'm doing is i'm pulling okay so you're gonna feel especially if it's tight you'll feel a stretch down here and we're really with this exercise stretching the um, insertion point or the origin of the hamstring muscles and some of the glute muscles and so um this might be uncomfortable for an individual who has really uh sensitive uh um, hip joint, meaning maybe arthritis or other uh, different kind of impingement or pain in their hip. So again, you have your pick of those three exercises. If you're able to do all of them, that can be very helpful in bringing some immediate relief to the sciatic pain that you experience. All right. So just to review, we went over the three exercises, but one of the most important things, if you've been dealing with sciatica for a very long time and you really haven't gotten results, maybe you've gotten injections or you've gotten different types of medications for muscle relaxation and it hasn't helped, one of the most important things that you wanna do is talk to a PT who can give you some long-term solutions for how you can actually relieve these muscles. Again, that uh, link to talk to one of our therapists is in the description, but hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, you can hit the like button because we truly appreciate it and share this with somebody who you know. Maybe you have a parent or a loved one or someone at your job or a coworker who's been complaining of tight hip pain and feeling those radiating symptoms going down their leg. Share this video with them. And you can also leave a comment on what you found to be most helpful. All right, take care until next time.